Hi, internet friends. Hello, welcome back to Basic Beauty Bitch. My name is Melissa, and I'm just a basic bitch who loves all things beauty. Um, I am back from England. As you know, I went to England last week, so um, I have a lot of exciting stuff to share with you guys. We had a wonderful trip. My son is now there studying, um, working hard for um, his junior year of college. He'll be studying there all year, so I'm very, very proud of him. And I had a wonderful time helping him get set up, and we went into London, and we did a lot of fun things. I'm going to record a whole video where I just talk to you guys about some of the things we did, because some of them were remarkable, like once-in-a-lifetime amazing opportunities that I just can't believe that we actually got to do. Um, so today, what we're going to do, um, is I bought a ton, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of makeup, um, when I was in London. And I think that, um, we're just going to go through it today. I have... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen eyeshadow palettes. Yes, thirteen eyeshadow palettes. Um, so we are not swatching today. That is not what we're doing. I will I will show you the palette. I will open it up. I will explain to you why I decided to pick it up. The vast majority of the stuff that I got is from Makeup Revolution because, as you know, it's Makeup Revolution London. So that is like their major brand there. That's what they have the most of. I did pick up some other brands that you can't get um, in the United States too, but um, or that I have personally never seen. I don't know if it's possible you can get them in the United States, and I just don't know about it. But I have personally never seen them, so I picked those up too. Just a few little items, but Makeup Revolution, one, I know is good. Two, there was the most to choose from. And I tried to get things that are not either, A, not available in the States, or B, if they are available in the States, I haven't been able to get them because they've been sold out. So we're just going to jump into it now, and um, here we go. So I'm going to start with the Makeup Revolution stuff. I'm going to do all that brand and then I will actually no I'm gonna start with the other little brands okay so there's this little brand called it's just called collection and I the only thing I picked up from them were a couple liquid eyeshadows so there's the first one's called glam crystals and um, just kidding they're not eyeshadows they're they're liquid um, lip toppers God I bought so much I don't even know so this one is called Top This. It's like an orangey color. And this one is called Mixer. And we will go ahead and swatch these. Why not? They're just a couple little things. So these are for the lip. They're called um, Lip Rockers. And they're very pretty. This orange one is more like a, like it's very sheer, but it's also very, very pretty. Let me show you. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? I like those. Hi, Gabby. Are you going to talk on my video today? Yeah? Okay, so those are from Collection. Those are the only two things I picked up from them. Um, the other stuff just didn't really excite me that much. There's another um, company called Makeup Academy there, and I got this beautiful highlight. I haven't even opened it yet. It's like a very, very light, light champagne-y color. Oh, it's so pretty. And I have to say, all of this stuff was fairly inexpensive. They do have stores there that are, um, like they sell more of the top of the line stuff, like your um, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Benefit, you know, 
um, Fenty, all of those things like that. They do sell that there, um, but you can get all that here. So I kind of was staying away from those. Um, I did go look around, but everything, all the products that they had were stuff that you can find in America, so I didn't really see the point in buying that. The next um, company is a company called Berry M, and I picked up a skin blurring beauty elixir from them. And it is literally just this little like milky white elixir you just put on before your makeup. And it's, I guess, kind of like a primer. But I thought that was cute. And also from them, I got a setting powder. And I used this a couple times already because I forgot to take a setting powder, the Tarte Amazonian Clay setting powder that I almost always use every single day. I forgot to take that. So, um, I had to run out and buy a setting powder. I got this. It worked really well, so I picked up the little primer thing, too. Then there's another company called... <laughs> okay, you're going to have to, like, forgive me because I'm sure I'm going to say this incorrectly um, because it is French, and it I believe it is hmm, bourgeois. Can you see the company name right there? Bourgeois? 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 I don't know. But I got this little primer and it is like, um, you know, a little balmy primer. Very nice. Just, you know, it goes on clear. It's just, it's just a primer. But it's like one of the poor feeling, poor filling um, smoothing primers. I also, I picked up a few things from this brand. I got a foundation, which I've actually used a couple times, and I really, really like it. It's supposed to have, um, like, different pigments inside of it that kind of um, color correct for you, almost like a, um, like, what would you call it? Like a, a like a foolproof color corrector. So this is in the color Vanilla Light. And, um, yeah, if I'm anything, it's vanilla. That's for damn sure. So it worked out. It's really nice. Then this is the eyeshadow that I got. And I haven't even opened this yet, so let me... This is a um, liquid eyeshadow in the color... No idea. Beige, I guess. Um, and I'm going to put it right beside the lipsticks. And you can barely see it. But I thought it was kind of a pretty shimmer. So I ended up going with that. Can you see it right down here? Barely, huh? Yeah. I like it, though. And then I picked up two lip pencils, one in this orangey kind of color that is called um, No Idea. No idea what the color's called, but we'll swap. You know, for a video where I said there's not going to be any swatching, I just knocked something on the floor. I'll pick that up in a minute. For a video where I said there's not going to be any swatching, there's a fuck ton of swatching already. But, you know, when we get to the eyeshadow palettes, we won't be swatching anything. So I picked up the orangey color and then this kind of like um, darker mauve color. And I'll show you both of those. Can you see them? Is the camera picking them up? Kind of. Kind of, sort of, maybe. They're both very nice. Let me pick up what I grabbed. Excuse me. Okay. And, no, we have one more company. There is a company called Nip and Fab. And I picked up two palettes for them, from them. Two palettes. One is a blush palette, which is this one right here, called Basic Beach. And... 
they're your colors. There's no mirror or anything in here. And the colors are Surf Babe, Pink Lagoon, and Coral Queen. And I really like those colors. Um, I like the more peachy, pinky kind of blushes more so than like a really red blushy blush. Um, and then I picked up an eyeshadow palette, of course. This is the beginning of the eyeshadows uh, from Nip and Fab also called Fash Hun. They're very big into their puns. And there are the colors. It's very nice. Um, we're not going to go through all the color names. It's going to take too long. This video has already been going for quite some time. And we haven't even hit the Revolution stuff. But that's where we're at right now is Revolution. So let me wipe my hand off. Not because we're going to swatch. Because we're done swatching. The end of the swatching. Um, it's just messy now. But good to know that eyeshadow wants to stay on there. Okay. Moving on. So let's start with the basic stuff. So I got a foundation because we talked before about how I was going to do like full face Fridays using only one whole brand of makeup. Um, and I'm going to do that with Revolution because I have a lot of Revolution stuff. And now I have even more. But I did not have a foundation from them. So I picked that up. And I got the color F5. I tested it in the store, so we'll see if it's the right color. It seemed to be like matching it in the store, but we'll see. I also picked up some glitter glue because I actually don't own any glitter glue. And I thought, you know, I would start with this because they do have um, a lot of glittery primer or glittery shadows that I like. I picked up a hyaluronic fixing spray or a setting spray. They just call it fixing spray there. That way, um, after I do the full face of Revolution Makeup, I can make it stay. Next, um, okay, hmm. I want to save the Halloween stuff for last. So Revolution has a Halloween collection that they just released, and I wasn't able to get all of it because a lot of it was already sold out. But I was able to get three pieces, and I'm going to save that for the very, very end of the video. So if you want to see that, watch till the very end. Okay, so first we're going to start with their, um, these like little chocolate bar palettes. So everybody knows that Too Faced came out with the chocolate bar palette like, a, you know, a while ago. In makeup terms, it's like for fucking ever, but it was a long time ago. They came out with their chocolate bar and they've since had like the peach the you know chocolate cherry or I don't know they had a ton makeup revolution of course has copied that many 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 times over this one is the macrons I don't think I'm pronouncing that right you know the little cookie things well macarons macrons I don't know so that's this one, and so it's got a, like a little blue chocolate bar thing on it. This one I picked up because I don't think you can get this in the States. And look at the colors. Look how beautiful that color story is. It's a lot of cool tones. Oh, so pretty. And I was looking at the, I was because they have testers of everything there. So I was like testing some of these. And the like teal shades were so pretty and I cannot wait to get into those. So that's one. Um, the other one is called Galactic. And it's like silvery. The little chocolate bar thing is silvery. I also have not seen this in the States. I didn't even see it on their website. So I'm excited that I found it there. See how it's kind of like a silver color because look at the inside you guys it is so pretty i know i'm showing you this upside down but it's so i don't blind you with the mirror look at those shades they're like marbled and interesting i wonder if they're gonna show up like the same every time that you use them or if they'll be different with each application 
we will um, maybe we'll do some swatches with this on a different video because I'm very curious about that okay next the next um, chocolate bar palette I got for several reasons um, one it is a honey themed palette so it's got bees and stuff all over it and as a lot of you guys know I am married to the newbie um, he does movie reviews and so we um, you know bees are kind of our thing you know so that was cute but then when I looked at the tester I saw something that forced me almost to get this so you can see it's got like a kind of amber honey colored chocolate bar piece on it of course it won't open for me now oh here we go I have used this palette I've worn it a couple times oh, shoot I'm gonna have to turn it this way if you look at the shades there is a shade right there can you even read it called Melissa and if you don't know a that's my name and Melissa means if you look up the origin of the name means B now this is spelled different my name is spelled M-E-L-L-I-S-A this one is spelled the traditional way but Melissa does mean B and so it's fitting for it to be in here but the fact that it had my name in it it literally has my name in it how could I not buy it so cute right okay 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 so that's a few next I got these um, animal palettes and I had seen these these are available in the United States but every single time that I went to buy it it was sold out so I picked it up here because it was here and if you'll see the front of the package is cute it looks like a tiger or something and then um, oh, shoot, these are brand new so they're kind of hard to open and then you can see the colors so pretty so nice it's got a little piece of plastic on it right now I cannot wait to get into it they're just they're kind of like very fall inspired colors I feel like they're great for fall okay moving on I had a little bit of an issue with this one I because it had plastic wrap around it and I took all the plastic wrap off before I started the video problem with this is that when I, when I took the plastic off um, there was some powder some shadow that came out so I went ahead and opened it just to see what we were looking at and a couple of the shades have broken in this one you can see the outside packaging it's very pretty it's very zebra but if you look you can kind of see there's like eyeshadow all over it and <clears throat> I'm gonna have to be very careful when I show you this because several of the eyeshadows in there are broken this one, this one, this one down at the bottom right here is broken. <clears throat> as far as I can tell, those are the only three. But because there was this little piece of plastic over it, they have pretty much stayed in their pans. Just a little bit has fallen out. So I'm going to try to um, replace it or, you know, like place it back in there. And then if you'll see, the rest of the colors are very pretty. It's just a little bit messy right now. So we're going to have to give that one a little TLC to make it work. But it'll be fine. No problems. Okay. Um, next, I have not seen this in the States. I don't even know who this person is. It is um, Revolution with Carmi. Is that, was that what that says? Cami, Carmi, um, I'm not sure. Cormi, whatever. It's a um, you know, collaboration with somebody. 
and I had not seen this before but look at this palette it is gorgeous it is so sparkly and shiny and then when you open it up fuck, it's so pretty oh, of course now I can't get it open okay look at this look at those colors man and then the all these big ones down here are all glitters one of the reasons I bought the glitter glue. Oh, I just think that is so, so pretty. I don't know who Carmi or whatever her name is, um, is, but she made a damn beautiful palette. So good for you. And even the outside is just gorgeous. Okay. One more palette for... Well, no, there's still several palettes, but <clears throat> this one of these long palettes, this one you can get in the States if you happen to find it in stock. It is their avocado palette and the front is like kind of rubbery, like plasticky rubbery. It's very interesting. They came out with this one and the pizza and they have a hot dog and a coffee latte. Frappuccino one. I don't know what it is. It looks like a little Starbucks cup on it. Um, but this was the one that interested me the most. And I'll show you why. Look at all the beautiful green shades in there. You don't see a lot of great green eyeshadows. And I really like this. I like it a lot. Um, there is a shade in there called California, which is where I live. There's just, there's just so, it's just beautiful. Look at that. I can't wait to do a gorgeous green eye look with that. Um, and I'm so glad I got it. I've wanted it for so long and I haven't been able to get it because I, I've been stalking it on the website and it's always sold out. So next, I found these little nine pan palettes that I've never seen here before. But I got one of each because they were hella cheap. They were like three pounds. And um, they're so cute. So here's the unicorn. They all have interesting little names. Here, I haven't even taken these out of the box. Let me take them out. Well, let's just see what the actual packaging looks like. Okay, all right, so that's cute. So you have unicorn. I'm not gonna take them all out because I imagine they're all the same. Unicorn. Angel. Can you see the colors? So pretty. My daughter said that one's her favorite, so I think I may give that one to her. Dragon. Which I think is my favorite, because it's like earth tones. And then Mermaid, which of course is more cool, sea green and blue and um you know just very pretty colors so they're all four of those they were only three pounds a piece very nice and then for buying all of the revolution makeup that i did i got a free contour and glow palette which is going to come in very handy when we do our full face so we'll use this for our contour and highlight and we have a million eyeshadows to choose from we also have, now I'm moving on to the Halloween stuff. Because that's all I've got left, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's all we've got left. So now we just have three more items left. And they're all part of their Halloween collection. And it's so freaking cute, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this skull. Now, they called this a highlighter. I don't know how that would be a highlighter in anybody's world. It is, I would assume, a liquid blush. Oh, no, I can't even open it. So it's got this little dropper. And you just... And it's called Blood of My Enemies. Look at that. Ew, so cool. Okay, and I'm going to just do a little drop on the back of my hand and show you guys what I mean. So literally just a little drop like that. And it's very sparkly. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then I'm just going to kind of 
rub it out a little bit and you can see and it is very very staining but I think that would make like a decent blush or if you were going to do like maybe special effects makeup or something you could use it it's very cool it, I mean I bought it literally for the packaging because that's cool as hell next I also bought this for the packaging but I think that the contents are going to be super cute it's an eyeball Woo! and it's called ice cream which uh, how funny is that okay so it's called ice cream and it is a highlighter oh, can you even see it's got an eyeball embossed in the highlighter and it's got a little mirror of course here let's swatch this I know I know I said no more swatching it's very very white but I think, um, let's see, it kind of really catches the light. Can you see that? It's very light, but you know, I am also super duper light, so it's kind of silvery, and I like it. And I think it would really help like at Halloween to have like very stark highlight. And then the top, the eyeball part is squishy. See? can squish the eyeball okay that's too much fun it's too much fun too cute okay last but not least we have another one of those chocolate bar palettes but it's called blood and I just I couldn't resist I love all things Halloween do you guys love Halloween do you are you excited for it um I think I've already asked you guys that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm already like super, super stoked for Halloween. So you can see the um, red cho chocolate bar, blood bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know what a blood bar is. <laughs> Sounds pretty gross. And then these are the shades. It's very red toned, obviously. And some of the shade names are hilarious, like Type A, Capillary, there's Type B, there's Negative, um, of course there's like Bloodthirsty, Vampire, you know, things like that. And I just think it's so cute. And I always gravitate towards red or pink eyeshadows anyway, so that was perfect for me. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. That's not much, right? <laughs> it's only, you know, 13 eyeshadow palettes, two highlighters, a blush palette, two foundations, four lip things, a couple primers, some powder. Okay, it's a lot. I mean, it, it's a lot. But I had a wonderful time and um, I can't wait to try these out for you guys. So I'm going to um, probably make a video where I just show you some of the different looks I'm able to create with these. And I'm actually really excited about that. I hope that you guys like that. I may not do like um, a video where you actually watch me put on everything. I may just create a look and then show you guys like a picture of it and show you which palette I used and um, that kind of thing. Because I feel like it would take too long with all of these to do that. Um, or if there's one particular palette you guys are interested in seeing, just let me know which one is, which one are you most excited about? Um, I think I like, I'm very excited about the blood palette and the, um, the avocado palette, I think are the ones that I am the most excited about. Yeah. Um, so again, we had a wonderful time. I am super super happy that he is there and he is having a great time and that he is getting this opportunity to study abroad I miss him like crazy already I just got back yesterday 12 hour flight oh my god okay but we're not here to talk about that right now <laughs> we're not talking about that right now but I am very happy for him and I'm very proud of him and I am very very lucky to be his mom and so I don't know if he's watching this, probably not. He doesn't 
watch my videos, I don't think. But um, anyway, if he if he is watching this, if you are watching this, I, I love you and I'm very proud of you. And we have had the best week. I go back to work tomorrow night, but um, I think things are going to be a little different around here after the experience in England. Um, but better, better different, better different. And I'm hoping to see you guys more often. I want to record more often. I want to talk to you guys more often. Um, I really enjoy this and I want to start focusing more on things that I enjoy. What do you guys enjoy? What is your favorite hobby or thing to do in your spare time? Um, I would love to know. I would really, really love to know. So let me know what you think about all the products. Sorry, my nose keeps itching. Um, that I got, that I picked up. Is there anything that I thought was only in England, but you know about it and you're like, no, bitch, we can get that here. I don't know. Um, I could definitely be wrong. I am, often am wrong. So, um, yeah, if you want to correct me, please do leave it down below. And, um, I hope all of you are having wonderful weeks. I hope that you have, um, a balance in your life that provides you the ability to do things you enjoy as well as follow your career, your passions, your studies. And, um, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Mwah.